In this video, I want to show you how to change the oil and filter on a sport bike. In this video, I'm using an oil filter along with some oil, general hand tools, a container to catch the used oil, and plenty of paper towels. For the first step, I'm going to remove these lower fairings right here. These are typically secured with some socket screws right here, here, and here, and then some plastic push pins down here. For this specific motorcycle, I don't need to remove the other side since I have access to the filter right here and the drain bolt right here. Next step, I'm going to prepare the oil pan. Now I'm just going to put the socket on my tool. So I'm just going to get this started. Then I'm going to put the oil catcher directly underneath it and finish doing this by hand. I'm going to loosen it until the last thread, maintain pressure, and then quickly remove the bolt so the oil it does not get out of my hands. Okay, so I'm going to pull it quickly. While that's draining, I'm going to loosen the fill fastener right here. If it's really tight, I might have to get some tools on it. I'm also going to lean the bike vertical to make sure I get all the oil on the other side. Once the oil is finished draining, I'm going to return the bolt to it. I'm going to wipe it off. Make sure the washer right here is clean and needs to seal. Now I'm going to tighten the bolt. I'm sure there's a torque spec in your manual. However, I just do roughly hand tight. You don't want to get it too tight because it might strip the threads, but you want to make sure it's tight enough that it'll stay. Now that the oil has drained, it's time to remove the oil filter. This is located right here. This shouldn't be so tight that you have to get a tool, but if it is, like mine, you could use a pair of channel locks. I'm going to turn it just until it breaks because the gasket is really sealed and glued. To it, so I'm just going to turn it until I feel it break. Once it's loose, put the oil catcher directly underneath it and then finish removing it by hand. There will be a lot of oil dripping out of here. Just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to get the new filter. I'm going to do a visual check to make sure it is the right size. So this one is. I'm going to get a little bit of the oil and put on this gasket right here. This is so when you turn it, it reduces the friction and you'll be able to torque up and you won't damage this rubber gasket. So I'm just going to coat it right there and then just put it back on. So I'm going to do it until it starts to get snug. I'm going to finish tightening it and do another about quarter to half turn. You don't want to get it so tight because it'll bond to it. It'll be really hard to get off. So I'm going to move it to about right there. Now I'm just going to wipe off all the oil while the catcher is still underneath it. I'm going to put the funnel at the fill hole, get the oil, and just start pouring it in. I'm going to be watching right here at the oil level. I'm going to wait till it gets to about almost to the top, and then I'm going to stop. So I can see the oil is at the very bottom. I'm going to put it vertical just to see where the level ends up, because I don't want to fill it up too much like it is, because once it's vertical, it'll be overfilled. And that's actually right at the very top right there, so I'm going to stop, luckily enough. This will fill up the oil filter when you uh, start the bike. I have it right at the top, so it'll drop a tiny bit once the oil filter fills up with the oil. So now I'm going to remove the funnel. Now I'm just going to return the fill hole cap right here and make sure the rubber gasket's fine. Now I'm just going to return the fairing like it was. Now all that's left to do is take the bike for a ride and top off the oil if you need to. And that's how to change the oil and oil filter in a sport bike. Thanks for watching.